Hi, Smiley Eagles. Welcome to Tuck In Tuesday. I have a very special book to share with you. It is called Interrupting Chicken. This book is called Interrupting Chicken, right, Papa? Yes. Now, please don't interrupt the story. This book is by David Ezra Stein. It is an AR book, and the book level is 2.2 and it's worth half a point. So if you would like to check it out, it is available in the Media Center. Interrupting Chicken. It was bedtime for the little red chicken. Okay, my little chicken, said Papa. Are you all ready to go to sleep? Yes, Papa, but you forgot something. What's that? asked Papa. A bedtime story. All right, said Papa. I'll read one of your favorites. And, of course, you are not going to interrupt the story tonight, are you? Oh, no, Papa. I'll be good. Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel were very hungry. Deep in the woods, they found a house made of candy. Nibble, nibble, nibble. They began to eat the house until the old woman who lived there came out and said, What lovely children! Why don't you come inside? They were just about to follow her when... Out jumped the little red chicken and she said, Don't go in, she's a witch. So Hansel and Gretel didn't. The end. Chicken. Yes, Papa. You interrupted the story. Try not to get so involved. I'm sorry, Papa. But she really was a witch. Well, you're supposed to be relaxing so you can fall asleep. Let's try another story. I'll be good. Little Red Riding Hood. Take this basket of goodies to Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood's mother. But don't stray from the path. The woods are full of danger. Red Riding Hood skipped along through the deep woods. By and by, she met a wolf who wished her good morning. She was about to answer him when... Out jumped a little red chicken, and she said, Don't talk to strangers. So Little Red Riding Hood didn't. The end. Chicken? Yes, Papa. You did it again. You interrupted two stories, and you're not even sleepy. I know, Papa, I'm sorry, but he was a mean old wolf. Yes, now get back into bed. Okay, Papa, let's try one more little story, and I'll be good. Chicken Little Chicken Little was hit on the head by an acorn. The sky is falling, she thought. She was about to run off and warn Goosey Lucy, Ducky Lucky, Henny Penny, and everyone on the farm. The sky was falling when... Out jumped a little red chicken and she said, Don't panic, it was just an acorn. So Chicken Little didn't. The end. Chicken, yes, Papa, you did it again. Oh, Papa, I couldn't let that little chicken get all upset over an acorn. Please read one more story, and I promise I'll fall asleep. But Chicken, said Papa, we are out of stories. Oh, no, Papa, I can't go to sleep without a story.
then said Papa, yawning, why don't you tell me a story? Me tell a story, said the little red chicken. Okay, Papa, here we go. Um, bad time for Papa by chicken. Once there was a little red chicken who put her Papa to bed. She read him a hundred stories. She even gave him warm milk, but nothing worked. He stayed wide awake. Oh. <sighs> Zees. Zees. Papa? I think Papa fell asleep. Good night, Papa. The end. What a cute story. Interrupting chicken just kept interrupting. So remember, sometimes we have to be good listeners and make sure we don't miss anything and we hear lots of great stories. Thank you for joining me tonight for Tuck In Tuesday. Remember, if you would like to read this book, Interrupting Chicken, it's in our library and it is an AR book. All right, everyone sleep tight and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Smiley Eagles.